Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Blueprints video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand interp2 functions. We understood f interp2 function, we understood v interp2 function, we also understood interp2 movement component. In this video, I would like to discuss r interp2 function. r interp2 function is used to rotate actors smoothly. Let's understand how do we use our interp2 function with an example how to rotate a cube around z axis to 180 degrees smoothly. We understand how to rotate an actor around z axis to 180 degrees smoothly. Let's go to the level 1. I am going to add a cube. I drag it and drop a cube. I move it up and press the end key so that it snaps to the surface. Then I am going to drag and drop a cone. I select the cube. I am going to copy its location. I select the cone, right click and paste. And then I rotate this cone around x axis by 90 degrees so that it looks towards right side and I move it outside. So that is how it is going to look guys. And then I select both cube and cone, set their mobility to movable so that we can modify them in blueprint. And then I make the cone as a child of the cube because if I rotate this cube, the cone also rotates. You can see that, right? That's what I want. Okay. Now we have the cube. I want to rotate this cube around Z axis by 90 degree or maybe 180 degree. Understanding? So what I will do, I will select the cube. Okay. I select the cube, go to level blueprint. I right click and get the reference to the cube. I got the reference to the cube and then I get actor rotation. I get this actor's rotation and return value I promote to variable. I name this as cube initial rotation. Okay, I am storing the initial rotation which is of course 0, 0, 0. If I say compile initial rotation, you can see that it is 0, 0, 0. Understanding? Next, as I told, I want to rotate this cube around Z axis by 180 degrees smoothly. So I will be using our interp2 function. Okay. Now we have to give here the cube's current rotation. So again, I get the reference to the cube and get actor rotation. I am getting this cube actor rotation, current rotation I give here. Next, I have to define the target rotation. I want to rotate it around Z axis by 90 degrees, right? So first what I do, I get the initial rotation, cube initial rotation and we have a node called as combined rotators. So to the combined rotations, rotator B here, I am going to, I don't want to add anything in X axis, Y axis, but I want to add in Z axis, which is 180 degrees, right? So 0 plus 180 is 180 which is going to be the target rotation what we want okay and here delta seconds will be delta time interpolation speed i give 2.0 and then i get the reference to the cube again return value we set as new rotation so here i say set actor rotation set actor rotation connect the execution pins and then return value i say new rotation guys so what happens here, you understand, event tick executes on every frame, we know that. On every frame, our interp2 function, what it does, it adds delta time to the current rotation. Okay, it adds delta time to the current rotation and returns a new rotation, which is going to be the new rotation of the cube we are setting here. And that happens at this interpolation speed 2.0 until it reaches to the target rotation, guys. Compile, save, come to level 1 and play. You should see, it is now looking to the right side, right? It is going to look to the left side, you see. If I, if I play, it looks to the left side, which is, it is rotated by 180 degrees. So if I say it should rotate by 90 degrees, so simply what I will do, I will give here 90. If I say compile, save, come to level 1 and play. See, now it is looking towards us. 90 degrees it is rotated. So if I have to make it look forward, so I simply give here minus 90 degrees, minus 90. If I say compile, save, come to level 1 and play. You can see here, it slowly looks towards forward. See, it smoothly rotates. 
so that is how you can use r interrupt to function guys it is very very useful while creating games so it is used to rotate actors smoothly as i told remember this and try it yourself uh, experiment if you experiment you get more idea guys if you like this video hit the like button and uh, share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about unreal blueprints for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep designing keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial